fun, take it away. All right, thanks so much. Hey, Bob, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> good, I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing the universal generics. So this actually goes out to everyone who can't be here for the junket mm -hmm. and they miss out on you. So if you could wrap my question into your answer, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. So um, I think I'm just such a huge fan. I think I could watch Peel and Orange and get excited. So let's start at the beginning and talk about how this story really came out of a personal experience and how nobody grew up from there. Yes, well, the movie Nobody does originate from a personal experience. Um, I live in a city, I live in Los Angeles and we had a, a home break in at our house with a person who was uh, on different substances. And as a result, they were not really um, present. So it was a dangerous and scary uh, experience for my family. Uh, we kept things uh, to minimum amount of damage and danger. And the police came and took the person away. And the remains though was a feeling of frustration and, and, and anger. And I thought I could tap into that to launch a, an action character's journey of vengeance. Um, so I, it was to use those feelings and to play them out on the screen uh, in a safe uh, place, <laughs> not in reality. But uh, it did come originate from a, a, a true experience. But of course, the movie Nobody goes to mythic places with uh, bad guys representing the Russian mob and my character having a past as a very violent guy. Um, so it, it starts in a kind of very real feeling place, but it goes to a magical, big conceptualized world. And uh, it's great fun. I mean, this conceptualized world and this character of Hutch with that huge backstory, it seems a little bit out of your comedic wheelhouse, if you will. What excited you most about playing him? Well, one of the things I've learned, oh, what excited me about playing the uh, character of Hutch Mansell in Nobody is, as an actor, I've discovered the joy of playing someone who's very different from who you are. It's really the reward of acting, I think, is to go somewhere different inside you and, uh, and, and see the world through other uh, different person's eyes. Uh, it's certainly true in the TV shows I've been in, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, I play a person who's not at all like me and not someone I would even be around, I think, if I had the choice. <laughs> but it, seeing the world through their eyes is an experience that is a real um, excitement for an actor. And so in this movie, nobody, I play Hutch Mansell, who's got this history as a fighting agent for, you could say, the DEA, the CIA, the FBI, Interpol, who knows? He just did some really violent stuff. That's not me at all. Um, and it's, it's fun to take the fantasy of a movie scenario and be someone very, very different from who you really are. It's like a weird little vacation from being yourself. And then you get to come back to your nice, safe life. Well, this, I think that the character that you play, you ground so much in reality as well. Um, it's a character that everyone can relate to. Can you speak about that? Well, look, I do think the character in Nobody is relatable to a lot of people. And I, I even think of this great moment where I've got the gun out and I'm yelling, give me the kitty cat bracelet. <laughs> and I'm really mad. And I just picture every parent mm -hmm in the back seat of their car, trying to find the kitty cat bracelet or the thing that their child lost that means so much to their kid and they're frustrated and they've got 30 things to do right now and they can't find that damn bracelet. And they're in their mind, they're feeling the way Hutch is with the gun out, give me that goddamn kitty cat bracelet. So there's a lot of feelings in it that are blown up to mythic proportions in our movie but they're relatable, you know? Um, the feeling of having, you know, kids, but having your neighbor who's like a single guy who's got a really cool sports car and he's bragging about it to you and your son and your son kind of looks at him and thinks, that guy's cool, my dad isn't cool. Mm -hmm. And you're the dad sitting there going, yeah, 
whatever, I'm not cool. <laughs> I wish I had your car and you wish you could steal it and go on a joyride like Hutch does. There are so many, and again, it's blown up into a big fable, but the feelings are the feelings of being a good parent who tamps it down, maintains equilibrium, doesn't let their feelings carry them away and manages life as you're supposed to. But in a movie, you get to just go off unhinged off on a on a mythic quest, you know. That's what movies can be. So let's talk about preparing for this movie because I think you're probably gonna go down in history for the two years of training that you did. So can you talk about that? And more importantly, are you still training? <laughs> I trained for two years to play the character Hutch Mansell in Nobody. I wanted to do my own screen fighting. Uh, and I spent 25 years of my life writing comedy. Um, and I love writing comedy. I love being a part of that world, but you don't, you don't work out a lot. <laughs> but I had also, I also, I hadn't hurt myself while I was doing that. My back was fine. My knees are fine. So I was in pretty good shape. I did cardio. So I thought, I'll just train really hard, you know, I'll start from the ground up and I'll put in my 10,000 hours, which is what I did. I would go to the gym two or three times a week. I'd work out on the days I didn't go to the gym, but I would go to the stunt training gym and get professional training two or three days a week. And I did that for two years before we uh, began filming. Um, what was your other question? Oh, let me just go straight into talking about working with the brilliance of Ilya and also bringing Christopher Lloyd into the fold because those are two really important points. Please. Yeah. So in the course of developing the movie Nobody, um, we put together an amazing team, starting with the writer Derek Kolstad, who wrote all the John Wick films. Derek just thinks in these amazing movie cinematic scenes and mythic story with bad guys from a shady past coming back to haunt you. And we got this great director, Ilya Nyshuler, who's a Russian director who made a great little film called Hardcore Henry, made on a shoestring. It's a first person action movie uh, that he made with friends. And it's a great feature. If you like action films, check out Hardcore Henry. And then we put together an amazing cast, which included Christopher Lloyd, who you might know from the Back to the Future films. Christopher was so great and has never done an action movie until this one and was really excited also to train, not for physical fighting, but for gun work and, and to get to use, he's got like five shotguns hanging from his neck. And he had a great time making the movie and I loved meeting him and working with him. Perfect. Thank you so much. It was such a brilliant film. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much.